Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you some changes I've done to masking in Mesh Morpher. Uh, for this video tutorial we will modify uh, some uh, metahuman face elements using uh, masking. So first of all we will create a new morph target. We will call it teeth because that's what we want to modify for this video tutorial. And now that we created uh, the morph target we have it here. We can go ahead and attempt to find a pose that will allow us to uh, modify the teeth easier right so i'm gonna select the arcid mapping animation and i'm gonna scroll to where uh, the metahuman has uh, the mouth open right this will allow us to to modify easily the teeth right so now that i found the uh, the pose that uh, will allow me to easily modify uh, what i want to modify i can open the morph target Once uh, the morph target is uh, uh, opened, I know for a fact that the mouth box, the inside of the mouth, has section ID 1 for metahumans. After I've selected the section, I can go ahead to behavior. This is a uh, new feature uh, in uh, Mesh Morpher with the uh, Mesh Morpher 2.1.0. You can find this option in. Uh, uh, under masking right so I'm gonna go ahead and select hide unselected this will hide everything else except for our selection right I'm gonna deselect draw mask selection because I want to see exactly uh, the materials and I'm also gonna deselect the draw selection wireframe option right because I want to have a clear view so now that uh, I have the the morph target opened and everything in place i can go ahead and decrease a little bit this uh brush size i think it's much lower 0.01 i think it's enough i'm gonna re uh, decrease a little bit the camera speed and i can go ahead and uh, modify the teeth right i want to have symmetry because i want to modify both uh, this uh, teeth at the same time with the same uh, amount of uh, value right i think we have to increase a little bit the strength this could be enough or maybe more I think this is enough strength we we can uh, use this easily and now that i've uh, sculpted the teeth i can go ahead and save it Now that the morph target is saved, we can go ahead and also test it. Now let's start the simulation and see how our, our vampire teeth are, uh, are looking at runtime. You can see they, they look pretty cool. And this is done entirely in Mesh Morpher, right? So now let's get back to Mesh Morpher. If we toggle mass selection and draw our area and pick hide unselected, it will hide whatever uh, it's uh, not selected. And if we toggle mass selection off, you can sculpt whatever is here, right? But if we uh, want to hide the selection, it will hide whatever it is selected but to modify what's near our selection what uh, everything else we need to invert mask now we can modify whatever but not the selection so this is it i hope uh, this is uh, helpful enough if you find it uh, helpful and cool don't forget to hit the like button if you don't hit the dislike button don't forget to subscribe and uh, don't hesitate to get in touch with me if you have any questions right so see you around guys bye